Hi, this is Terry, and I'm here at Apple Fest. We are with Northboro Cable Access TV, and there's so much going on, and I can't wait to show you what's happening. I've met a lot of great people, and I think you should come down and have fun, too. Come on down. We're at Apple Fest and we are checking out the robotics team and I'm here with Julia who is a senior and co-captain of the robotics team. Can you tell me a little bit about what's going on here? Uh, so this is what we call an outreach event and at the end of the day what we are a part of is a group called FIRST and what we're trying to do is inspire kids to join uh, engineering and robotics and STEM fields through inspiring them through all these robots from pre-K to 12th grade. Fantastic, and is there any uh, special item or something that's d new this year or won awards or anything that we should check out for sure? So over there, we have a robot, and we made it this year at our competition, and it took us six weeks to build it, and we actually ended up going to the World Championships with that robot. Fantastic, congratulations. Thanks. And so uh, we'll be catching you and some more action here at Apple Fest. Thank you. Hi, back again at Apple Fest, and I'm here with Tommy Lowe, and he is in charge of uh, all of the chefs here. Can you tell me about what's going on? Sure, well, the Knights of Columbus and the um, Challenge League Baseball are combining together to uh, do the cookout here tonight. And as Grand Knight this time this year, uh, I'm helping to keep everyone in line and uh, keep all the uh, people happy and, and have plenty of help here. So it's worked really well so far to include some of the parents of, of Challenger League um, students as well as a lot of the, a lot of the knights that have supported us and and trying to make this a, a positive fundraiser. Fantastic! And can you tell me what uh, what is it that you're serving? We have hamburgs, hot dogs, we get sausages, baked potatoes, and we also have veggie burgers this year. So, um, so far so good. The crowd is a little slow in coming, but now it seems like they're all showing up at the same time. So whenever they come, we don't mind. It's just a matter of having them make sure they come. So it's been a great day. It's been a great day so far. Fantastic. All good news. Very Thank good. you. Thank you very much. Okay, now we're at a different table. This is Marie Wyman who's going to explain uh, what is going on here. Right, at this table you'll see homemade goodies, we have homemade cupcakes, we have black and white chocolates, and we have apple crisp. This is a representation of what the Women's Club, the St. Rose of Lima Women's Club, makes every year for Apple Fest. It's one of our um, very good fundraisers. And this is part of the component of our mission statement that we have community involvement. Uh, we really practice involvement women. We're a very uh, unique um, organization of uh, free-spirited women who do a lot of ministry. And we're very proud to be here at Applefest again this year. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm here with Cheryl, and she's going to tell us what's going on here. So this is the pizza booth for Apple Fest. We're selling pizzas, sodas, and waters as fast as we can. Uh, for, and this goes into the Apple Fest donation bucket uh, so that we can have a nice Apple Fest next year. Fantastic. Thank you, and we'll see you around. I'm Terry, and I'm here with Karen. Uh, and can you tell us what Burroughs Cares for uh, is uh, for our yep. troops? It's called Burroughs Cares for Troops. And what we do, it's an organization we started about um, three, yeah, three years ago. And it's uh, made up by four local women, and we want our support our troops and let our deployed soldiers know that they have people back home that care about them and remember them and we also do some work to help local veterans um, we're really big on trying to get social awareness out there that we have a lot of veterans in our community and they go about their everyday life and some a lot of people don't even know that they're veterans so if you get the opportunity please make sure that you 
thank a veteran when you get the chance to. And I'm going to throw a little shot in there. Um, red Friday, it's red for remember everyone deployed. And you wear a red shirt or something, hat, sneakers, anything, just to show that you support the troops and you remember the people that are deployed. And I personally just want to thank you, oh, uh, thank you. For, for all that you're doing, too. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. back again and uh, I have Pat Griffin here can you tell me what's going on here we have a whole nice crew going on well so. what is it welcome to the glow fest the glow the glow necklaces we have necklaces we have eyeglasses and we're all glowing <laughs> and what are you glowing to raise money for oh this is Apple fest so hopefully we'll be able to have the the Apple fest fireworks here next year because, you know, the town does not pay for the Apple Fest. Got it. We have to raise all the money ourselves. And it's very expensive by the time you get the police, the fire, the DPW, the insurance. Fantastic. Thank you. Glow stick helps. <laughs> Thank you so much. Anything you girls would like to add to that? Are you glowing to be here? Oh, yes, always. Um, I have the best crew to work with, and Pat's selling taste. Um, Joan is selling taste of North Road tickets for tomorrow night, and uh, we hope people come by and buy those too as well. Joan, tell me what we can expect at Taste of Northboro. Well, last year we sold out. We had a lot of people that came to the door. This year we have vendors bringing 100 more things. We have 14 restaurants plus three other places that are doing water, desserts, and coffee. The tickets are $12 and it's a great time. And we have live music also in the gym. Fantastic. I have so much fun every year at this, so I want to thank you, ladies. You work so hard. Thank you. <laughs> I'm back again, and I'm with Maggie from the Harbinger, and uh, I see things are really hopping over here. Can you tell me what's going on? Uh, yeah, we have a moonwalk and a obstacle course for um, anyone can sign up and buy it, and all the proceeds are going to our newspapers so that we can inform the school and community about what's going on around Northboro. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm Terry and I'm here with Meg and this is uh, the area for the Girl Scouts of Northboro and so can you tell us what's going on here and what you're raising money for? Um, so we have junior troops and above from Northboro Girl Scouts and they're all individually raising money for their troops. Um, each troop has a booth and they are they're running a few games for the community and uh, we equally share the profits to um, fun camping trips and um, the girls uh, do all kinds of uh, community service and that kind of thing and they need money for that too so um, that's pretty much what we're, we're up to tonight I'm here with John and he's going to tell us what the DECA table is doing. So DECA is a uh, business competition organization and um, every year our members will go to one of three events, uh, districts, uh, if they qualify beyond that, states, and if they qualify beyond that, internationals. We have over 275 members uh, around that every year at Algonquin, at our Algonquin chapter. Um, so what we're doing out here is we're just kind of promoting DECA and looking for parents to help out with uh, practice role plays, um, different fundraising events and different things like that. We're also raising money for the organization over here. We have a couple games going on and we're just looking to promote DECA to the surrounding community. Excellent and uh, good luck. Thank you very much. I'm here with the Northboro Junior Women's Club and they are busy with a really sweet table. Can you tell me what's going on? Yes, it's the uh, candy buffet. So the kids and the adults can come over and they can have their candies in a bag or a box for two dollars and they get 15 sweet treats. Fantastic. And, and do you have any particular favorites or ones that you are trying to save for yourself here? No, no, I don't need candy. But Brenda and I are the chair, chair and co-chair to the group, and we have we did this at Apple Fest this morning. It was a great success, and we decided to come here and do it tonight, and it's been an overwhelming success. The kids are having such a good time, 
And the junior women really care about the community. It, we can see it, and I want to thank you for all the work that you guys do. So I'm very appreciative. Thank, thank you. you. You're Thanks. welcome. Guess what's hopping around for the Northboro Scholarship Committee? I have Margie and Bob here. Can you tell me what's up? Uh, we are selling tickets to our bouncy house and trying to raise money for future for uh, scholarships for graduating seniors. Anyone, um, it can be any graduating senior in the town of Northboro, doesn't have to just be Algonquin. And this is our major fundraiser for the year. This is uh, some face painting that's going on. I'm wondering if you can um, tell me who you are and what you, what it is you're doing here today. Well, we're Diane Kenoria Dance Center, and our dance teams are doing face paint and tattoos to help raise money for their competition season. So, and we're just out enjoying Apple Fest, right? That's what we're doing. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I'm Terry with Northboro Cable Access, and it's been another great day at Apple Fest. Take it away!